Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Facial Plastics Friday. It's Dr. Brace here, and we've had a lot of people asking about CO2 laser, how it's different from Halo, how it's different from Herbium Yeg. Uh, and so I'm gonna do a demonstration today on uh, what I use CO2 laser for, how it works, and what you can expect. So this is the laser here. This is the core from Candela. As you can see, there's surgical mode and aesthetic mode. There is an intima mode, but we don't do that here in the office. Um, light mode is a very light resurfacing. So you can think of this mode as basically what an Erbium Yeg laser would do. So I'm gonna put my glasses on. And we have all the parameters here. We can set the pattern size, the fractionation co uh, coverage, so it goes up to 50% and all the way down to 30%. And so depending on how much skin we want to resurface, we can change it. I'm gonna put it on full for 50% light mode. We then have different ring sizes where we can change how much we remove. So we'll go right in the middle here on ring two. And this kind of gives us a schematic in the skin of how deep we're going. So now that we have it ready, we have our patient here, my apple, and I'm gonna show you and see the little red scanner. And when I press on the pedal, it's done a very light resurfacing. The skin's still intact, but we've removed a little bit. So that's the lightest mode this laser goes on. And I'll be honest, I basically never use it. When we're treating someone's skin, we're almost always on deep mode and mid mode. So the same thing with mid mode, I can change the fractional coverage. If someone has dark skin, so if there's Indian skin, Fitzpatrick basically three and above, I'll have the percentage down, but this is safe in all skin types as long as you change the coverage. And someone with Caucasian skin, we can go up to 40%. And again, I'll go ring size two. We can change the energy here. I'm gonna put it up all the way. So you can see what it does if we're doing an aggressive treatment for something like acne scarring, deep acne scars. So here's the apple again. Where's my last treatment spot? Right there. So I'm gonna go right beside it. You see that's a little more intense. So this is what we tend to use on the skin. Now if I wipe this, you can see that the apple skin is still intact, but I've burnt 40% of it off. So if this was somebody's facial skin, that is gonna heal in, it's gonna tighten, it's gonna smoothen out. The next mode that I love is deep mode. This mode I always have fully at 5%, and I usually always have it up to 70 millijoules, which is top um, energy. And you can see here, it's going through the epidermis and into the dermis. This is what gives tightening. So we wanna make micro holes into the skin so that the skin heals by contracting. And again, I'll show you. So deep mode, deep mode, you barely see any change on the skin of the apple. There's a little bit there, but it's not really doing any resurfacing. It's what's gonna tighten the skin. If somebody has extreme uh, acne scarring, we'll often go classic mode, which is not fractionated, but it's full ablation. And you can change the size here. So we'll go to a square, keep it consistent. And I usually will do serial passes on one to three millijoules. Again, depending on the skin type, the higher the energy, the more heat. So if we want to avoid pigment issues, we stay low heat. And you'll see the difference here. That was the mid mode at 40%. I'm gonna go right below it on classic mode. You can see here now, once we wipe that burnt apple skin off, that I've actually gone into the skin by a couple microns and I've removed a layer. So if we pick a blemish, we'll pick these brown blemishes. I'm gonna get a little gauze. You can pretend this is a mole on someone's skin or an acne scar. You can go over top of it. And then after each pass, you wipe the lasered skin off. And lo and behold, two of those marks are gone. One's a little deeper. So we'll do another pass. We'll go lower energy because we've already taken some of it off. And I'll wipe that again. And as this is getting smaller and smaller, we can change our spot size. And one of the reasons I love this laser is it's very customizable. So that we're just hitting the one spot that remains. As you can see, the skin of this apple is still intact. I'm not into the flesh of the apple yet. If I keep going, I will. And that's kind of like someone's facial skin. We can get through the epidermis layer by layer until we hit the dermis. And that's okay as long as we stay in the superficial papillary dermis. It will heal just fine. So there you go. I'm gonna stop there because now we're getting just to the top of the flesh of the apple. That's in classic mode. 
So with one pass, I was able to remove that brown spot. With two passes, I got that one. This one took about four, there's a bit of brown there. In, uh, in someone's skin, I would then make this smaller and smaller and smaller and zero in on that until we completely ablated it. So this is a CO2 laser. It's highly absorbed in water, but not as highly absorbed in water as erbium. And the reason why erbium doesn't go as deep um, into the skin like the CO2 is because it's absorbed in the upper layers because it has such an affinity for water. This is a very strong laser. You can use this in industry to cut through metal. Um, there's a, a business here in town, Integrated Metal Products, who use CO2 lasers to cut metal. I'm gonna show you what this can do now on surgical mode. So now I've switched the mode over, and I go freehand, and this would be something I would use to remove a keloid. And so the advantage of using this is that there's no bleeding because this cauterizes as it cuts, and it's also atraumatic. So I'm gonna set the energy here without a repeat, sorry, without a pulse. I'm gonna set this up all the way. And I'm gonna cut the apple with this. So you can go around a mole, you can go around a keloid. Some people use this for blepharoplasty surgery. And I'm literally cutting right into this. Now if I had some surgical instruments, I could lift up the skin here. And actually dissect. All right, so I'm doing this over top of a wet um, pad because this is would start a fire if we didn't have it over water. I'm cutting, starting to cut pieces off. Tissue, human tissue, obviously uh, has more elastin in it, so it's more elastic, so it doesn't just tear like this, but you can remove. A lot of this apple on this classic uh, incision mode for the CO2 laser. So this is using cancer surgery in the hospitals to remove tongue-based tumors and laryngeal tumors because you can actually fire this light down a microscope and get to things, to spaces in the throat that you can't access otherwise without doing destructive things to people's um, jaws, like having to split their jaw in half to get to the back of their throat. So the advances in cancer surgery all use CO2 laser. There we go. cut this off here. So that's the CO2 laser. It has the aesthetic mode where we have light mode, mid mode, deep mode, and classic full resurfacing. And then there's the surgical mode where we can do things like cut tissue and uh, remove moles, remove keloids. It's a fantastic laser. Uh, send us your questions about CO2 and everybody have a great weekend.